Now, when you have these kind of dashboards, right, or even in stories, sometimes we may have that you have multiple pages. Multiple pages would be there. Now, if you have multiple pages, how will a person navigate from one page to another page? So just like you have the bookmark navigation, we also have something called a page navigation. Now, there is a page navigation which gets created automatically. Not a big fan of it. It looks very, very, very raw. Not very good in presentation. And there is one way that we can use buttons to create navigations. So I'll show you both the things. For example, I have this particular dashboard. Multiple pages are there. Now, if I want to insert over here, where you have the buttons, you go to the navigators, you have the page navigators. Once you click on the page navigators, you will see on the top, it has created all the navigators. One thing you have to remember, as many number of pages you have, the navigator needs to be present on all the pages because the person should be able to come back and forth at any point. So all you can do is figure out the design of it. You can always change through the formatting, whatever you want to shape, shape the shape, the color, how it should be when it's selected, not selected, how the layout should be. Once you're done with that, then what you need to do is and define where you are going to place it. So navigators are either on the top or on the sides, right? So once you're done with all the designing part, then simply copy and paste. So you don't have to really create navigators for every page. Once you've done, you see automatically it is changing. Now it's on bookmark, so bookmark is selected. If I paste it on page one, page one will be selected. Because I have created with such big number of pages but again you can create you can make a grid out of it number of rows and columns you can increase so in the formatting let's say i want a grid layout and i want a, a grid right how many columns let's say i want three columns and multiple rows are there so all these kind of things you can do one row Ten minutes, right? So for that adjustment, depending on how it is, ten. So I put heroes. Yeah, there you go. So all these things, you know, in formatting you can do. But the point is, now that this is created, once you click your control key, you will see it works for all. So this is the easiest way of making a page navigator. But every time you have to make sure you're putting the navigators on all the pages of your dashboard. It can't be just in one place. Like if I end up in previous end month, now how do I go back? I need a navigator. 